Hello, my friends. Ready to dive into a tale that will leave you intrigued? Ever heard of Orpheus, the man whose harp could stir souls? But here's the real question, can music truly transcend life and death? Let's talk about a love that defies the bounds of mortality. Orpheus and Eurydice share a bond that even the underworld couldn't sever. But what happens when love clashes with the realm of shadows? Hold on to that curiosity, my friends, because the secrets of Orpheus's melodies and his journey await. Will his music conquer death, or is he playing a dangerous game? Stick around till the end, my curious minds, for this story holds the key. Can music rewrite fate? Let's find out together. In the heart of ancient Greece, where myths intertwined with reality, there lived a man whose melodies held the power to shape destinies. Orpheus, a gifted musician, wielded a lyre bestowed upon him by Apollo, the god of music and light. With every stroke of his fingers across the strings, he could command the very elements of nature. Yet, amidst his virtuosic displays, it was his heart that resonated most deeply. Orpheus's music wasn't merely a skill, it was a language that spoke to every creature, from the mightiest to the most delicate. His melodies had the power to summon winds, tame wild beasts, and even halt rivers in their tracks. It was during a moonlit night when his enchanting music caught the ear of Eurydice, a radiant nymph with a soul as pure as the morning dew. Their gazes met, and in that instant, a profound connection was forged, one that transcended earthly explanations. The love story of Orpheus and Eurydice became a whispered legend among the mountains and rivers. The culmination of their love was a union celebrated even by the gods. Their wedding day was a symphony of happiness, where the universe itself seemed to join in the festivities. However, the harmony was shattered when a viper's venom stole Eurydice's life away, leaving Orpheus bereft and tormented. It was then that Orpheus made a decision that would reverberate through the annals of myth. Driven by his love, he embarked on a journey that would lead him to the depths of the underworld, a realm ruled by Hades, the god of death. Armed with his lyre, a relic of divine craftsmanship, and a heart filled with a love that defied even the laws of mortality, Orpheus delved into the shadows. The path to the underworld was fraught with peril. Orpheus navigated the treacherous terrain, from the mournful banks of the river Styx to the cavernous passages where despair lingered like a haunting melody. Yet, his music shielded him, its ethereal notes transforming the gloom into a realm of melancholic beauty. When he finally stood before the thrones of Hades and Persephone, his lyre echoed with the collective longing of every being in existence. Orpheus's voice trembled but held unwavering as he pleaded for Eurydice's release. His melodies painted a vivid portrait of their love, a love that surpassed the boundaries of life and death. Moved by Orpheus's plea in his sublime music, Hades granted him a chance. Eurydice would be allowed to return to the world of the living, but on one condition, Orpheus must lead her out of the underworld without looking back until they reached the realm of light. The journey back was a symphony of hope and anguish. Orpheus's footsteps echoed in time with his heartbeat as he guided Eurydice through the winding passages, the memory of her radiance pushing him forward. As they approached the threshold that separated life from death, doubt whispered into his ear. Could he truly trust the god's mercy? Would Eurydice truly follow him into the realm of the living? The weight of uncertainty grew heavier with each step, until it became a force he could no longer resist. In a moment that transcended mere mortal decisions, Orpheus turned to glimpse the face of his beloved. Eurydice stood there, a fragile figure on the precipice of two worlds, her eyes brimming with both love and understanding. But the god's conditions were absolute, and as his eyes met hers, she began to fade. The warmth of her presence dissipated, leaving only the echo of her final whisper. Heart-wrenching cries filled the air as Orpheus realized the irreversible consequence of his doubt. He had lost Eurydice once more, not to the jaws of death, but to the very uncertainty that resided within him. The underworld's threshold had claimed her forever. Yet, the echoes of Orpheus's grief transformed into haunting melodies that traveled far and wide. 
His lyre, once a gift of Apollo, became a vessel for his sorrow and his undying love. Each note bore the weight of his regret and the memory of his beloved, and his music became a bridge that spanned the realms. Orpheus's story, a tapestry woven with love and loss, found its way into the hearts of generations. His melodies became a reminder that even in the face of insurmountable odds, the power of love and the magic of music could traverse the boundaries of existence. And so, the legend of Orpheus lives on, a tale of a man who ventured beyond the realm of the living to retrieve the one he loved, only to discover that the greatest battles are often fought within oneself. The lyre's strings may have ceased their physical vibration, but its echoes continue to resonate, an eternal testament to the unbreakable bond between love, music, and the human soul. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey, dear viewers. I hope the tale of Orpheus and his enchanting melodies left you spellbound. If you're as passionate about mythology and spine-tingling horror stories as we are, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you'll ensure you never miss an opportunity to explore the realms of mystery and fear. Your support means everything to us, so please show your appreciation by giving this video a thumbs up. Your likes fuel our enthusiasm to bring you more captivating content. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we'll continue to unravel myths, delve into chilling horrors, and ignite the flames of curiosity within you. Thank you once again for being part of our community, my fellow enthusiasts. Until next time, remember to subscribe, like, and eagerly await our next adventure together. Farewell for now, and see you in our next video.